for the story of two beautiful people and their lives being ended moved me. As an artist, Brenda Bolding doesn't have to dig deep for inspiration. One day, the Brevard native says she found out about the story behind the Moore Cultural Center in Mims. I was shocked that, that it's not known by more people and that we have um, civil rights martyrs here locally. Harry and Harriet Moore were early pioneers in the movement. Christmas night, 1951, their Mims home was firebombed, killing them both on their 25th wedding anniversary. Bolding took to the canvas some 15 years ago to pay tribute to the Moors, plus other civil rights era figures. Instead of putting them up, they went into storage. Two or three years ago, we came here and she just fell in love with this place. A light bulb went off in Ron's head, and this past holiday season, he brushed up his own plan. This would be a good time um, to come over here and ask if we can display the pro you know, her artwork. The Morris Center welcomed the idea with open arms, so Ron surprised his wife with a Christmas present. Oh, I love these paintings because it just captures that X factor, that intangible moment when you when they are really in the moment of the picture and you get exactly what's going on. Certainly appreciate it and thank you so much. And now her paintings of the Moors went up with the other historical figures she created. The paintings I think are, are happy and bright and hopefully, you know, they're they're seen in that light. In Brevard County, Greg Pallone, Spectrum News 13.